you've got your landscape sorted, you've got some really cool real world models from Quixels, but now it's going to take you ages to add enough rocks and plants to make your scene look real. Unless there's a shortcut. Hey, and welcome to Unreal in FX. You know, about five minutes after I publish this video, I'll think of a much better title. This video is part of a series where I, an After Effects artist, shares what I've learned about creating 3D environments using Unreal Engine. In the previous episodes, I talked you through getting set up, importing models from Quixel's Megascans, and how to sculpt then texture a landscape. As I said in the cold open, in this episode we're going to look at the coolest feature of Unreal, painting objects. First off, I'll open my project from the library. And it looks blank. Don't panic, that's to do with Unreal being a games engine at heart. If I now go to File, Recent Levels, I can load in the level with the work on it. And I'll clear the distracting warnings by using Disable All Screen Messages in the console. Okay, now to get some rocks first. From the Get Content dropdown, select Quixel Bridge. And find some rocks you like the look of. If you're not sure what to do, it might be worth watching the first video in this playlist, as it will talk you through the steps and a pitfall you need to avoid. So, in the content browser, I can now navigate to the Megascans folder, and then the 3D objects. And there are my rocks. Now, I could drag each model on, as I've showed before, and scale up. But let's look at a better option. From the selection menu, select Foliage Mode. And scroll down until you can see the message Drop Foliage here. And follow the instructions by dragging in your 3D models here. You'll be prompted to save at this point and another model appears in the folder. Remember, Unreal is an asset manager at heart and foliage assets are different from regular models. Don't ask me how I'm still learning myself. Now, hold Shift and select both foliage models. Then click on the checkbox. And when I go to paint... How cool is that? I'll just undo it for a moment using Ctrl and Z, and let's look at the options. You can set radius sizes and density. and minimum or maximum scales for the objects. You can vary the scale uniformly or individually, of course. And if I scroll down a little, in the placement section, I can choose how far into the ground the rock should appear. If I set a minimum of minus 20 and a maximum of zero, the rocks will follow the landscape, but be partially buried. If you set positive numbers, then the rocks appear in mid-air. And if you need to adjust the landscape at any point, the foliage rocks reset to keep following the landscape. Just before we look at adding plants to the landscape, can I ask a quick favour? If you like this video, YouTube will recommend it to others. If you subscribe, then it's great for me, and hopefully you. But if you leave a comment or share the video, then the engagement metrics go through the roof. Obviously, if you've hated this video and don't want to help me out, then um, do none of those things. Okay, it's all a bit stark, let's add some plants. Back to Quixels. While cactus seems appropriate, I want to show off the wind settings. Hmm, rose hips or ferns? You can get lost here so easily. And because there was a collection, looks like all I have to do is add a single model, and Unreal sorts it all out for me. So I'll just deselect the rocks, then highlight the plants and check them. And instant foliage! To make it look even better, from the content browser, double click on one of the material instances. In the pop-up on the right-hand side, check the box to activate Enable Grass Wind, and then check the new box so that it is not false. 
Then check the wind intensity box. And click save. And then repeat for all the other material instances. And there, subtle movement on every plant. And just take that in for a moment. We've not had to manage shadows, ambient occlusion, or anything. So in the next video, we'll add a camera and render out a sequence ready for After Effects.